welcome to my tutorial. Today, I would like to talk about one-way ANOVA test. I'll be using both the SPSS and PowerPoint presentations to make explanations for you so you can clearly understand why you have to use one-way ANOVA tests. One-way ANOVA tests is a statistical method that you can use to compare the means of three or more groups simultaneously to determine if they are significantly different from each other. So let us use this topic, assessing the effectiveness of different stress management techniques. So in this study, I am interested in evaluating the effectiveness of three different stress management techniques. A mindfulness meditation b aerobic exercise and three cognitive behavioral therapy cbt so the aim of this study is to determine if there are significant differences in perceived stress levels among participants who have undergone these different interventions so i, I would like you to look at the the aim of this study because it, it has to be spelled out. If you are going into one-way ANOVA tests, the aim of that study should be able to explain to the uh, readers of your study that this is what you actually want to do. Now, here I have 60 participants who report experiencing moderate or high levels of stress. So this is for the purpose of um, demonstration for this tutorial. Now, I used 60 participants, but I have to group them into three. So, I randomly assigned participants to one of the three groups. Now, for the group one, which is the meditation, uh, I assigned one to 20 participants to this group. Now, group two is the exercise, aerobic exercise, uh, that is from 21 to 40. 40th person uh, assigned to this group and then the cognitive behavioral therapy the CBT from 41 to 60 uh, 68th participant uh, to this group so what intervention implementation can you use now what you might do will be that each group will participate in a different stress management technique according to their assignments so let us assume that uh, the meditation group now engage in mindfulness practices such as meditation and deep breathing exercises. And then the group two will go into uh, regular aerobic exercises such as jogging, cycling or swimming. And then uh, the last group, which is the CBT, will attend structure sessions, focus on identifying and modifying maladaptive thoughts and behaviors related to stress so now we want to compare the differences between these groups so for the data analysis another one way ANOVA will be most appropriate here i have posed the, the, the following hypothesis so the null hypothesis here will be that there is no significant difference in perceived stress levels among participants who underwent different stress management techniques. And of course, the alternate hypothesis will be the opposite of the null hypothesis. But when, when we head over to the analysis in SPSS, one thing that I want you to keep an eye on is the F statistics and then the associated p-value and then the effect size to determine whether there, is, there are significant differences in perceived stress levels among the uh, intervention groups, among these groups. So we will head over to SPSS and then run this analysis. So I have my data set already in, in Excel. I do not want to import it. Of course, if I want to do that, I can simply go through the file and then import the data into the SPSS. But I want to uh, take it gradually so that you'll be able to understand the processes. These are the scores for the stress management techniques. And these, these are the IDs 
of participants. So you can see participant number one uh, to 60. And so these are the scores after measuring them. Now, I want to copy this into the SPSS. So I'm going to copy this. Control C. Then head over to SPSS. And then in the SPSS, I'm going to name this stress management. Let me say this. And so I will reduce this to zero. Then I will go to my um, data view and then paste what I've copied from um, Microsoft Excel. And I've pasted here. So you can see that one to 60 participants. Now, remember that in, um, in my grouping, I said that the meditation group are from 1 to 20 so the, from the first to 20th participant a group in uh, under the meditation group so I will head over to this point um, and then I will have another another column here and I will call it group now I will put the decimal to zero but in the labels here, I'm going to mention, I'm going to instruct the SPSS to understand the different groups that I have. So I'm going to call here number one, and I'm going to call this group the very first group here. Let's head to this point. That is the meditation group. So I'm, I'm going to copy this. So I will call this meditation group. I will click to enter the group two. I have the aerobic exercise so I'm gonna use exercise so I will tell SPSS that group 2 are those who engage in exercise group 3 are those who engaged in CBT cognitive behavioral therapy so I'm gonna label that here and then I'll say enter okay then I'll click OK so if you come down to this point, so you will see that um, I've, I've now, um, SPSS now indicate that there's something missing here, some missing values. So because remember, group one are those from, uh, are the participants number one to 20. Remember that? One to 20. Remember that in, in Excel, Microsoft Excel that is 1 to 20 so in SPSS I'm going to put them that is they belong to group 1 sorry excuse me 1 I'm going to impute 1 okay now remember group 2 remember what we call that group 2 are those in exercise aerobic exercise so i'm going to head over back to spss and i will enter two to 40 okay then remember from um the group three 41 to 60 41 to 60 uh grouped into three Okay, so the next thing I want to do is um, if I want, I will save um, the SPSS. So I'm going to save, I can say YouTube, um, one way, and over. And then I'll save. I will head over to analyze at this point. And go to compare means and I will head over to one way ANOVA so remember in this case that we have our dependent variable which is stress management techniques 
So we put that into the dependent leads. And then we have our groups. Remember? So you can see um, 1 to 20. That is the meditation group. You can see um, you can see 21 to 40. That is the exercise. That is group 2. And then uh, 41 to 60. That is group 3. Okay. So I will simply drop this into the factor or simply put it into the factor and then for now we want to check remember let me take you back to the um, 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 remember that the analysis that we are about to take right now is that there is no statistically significant in perceived stress levels among participants who underwent different stress management techniques so this, these are the two hypotheses that we've posed. That is null and then the alternate. But now we want to check if the F test statistics is significant. That is what we want to do. Okay. So because that is the first we want to do, we'll click OK to check. So you can see the one-way ANOVA results that the F statistics here is 20.670 and is statistically significant. Now, what it shows is that that's a statistically significant, uh, significant difference between the groups. So since uh, this result is statistically significant, um, let's head over to this point. It means that we reject the null hypothesis and then accept the alternate hypothesis that there is a significant difference in perceived stress levels among participants who underwent different stress management um, techniques. So that will lead us to examine the, um, the, the post hoc test. Okay. If we find a statistically significant difference, then that indicates um, a significant difference among groups. So we conduct post hoc test. Example, the Toki's honesty significant difference test to identify which specific pairs of groups differ significantly in perceived stress levels. That is, the two keys test is also referred to, or post hoc test is referred to as analysis after the fact. So the post hoc test will identify where the significant differences lie to provide more detailed insight into the effectiveness of each intervention compared to other. Okay, so we know that um, that these exercises are good, both. Um, mindfulness, meditation, um, aerobic exercise, and um, cognitive behavioral therapy. They are all good, but we want to see which among them prove to be much better. Okay, so we will go back to analyze, and then we'll go back to the post hoc, and then select Toki at this time. And that's all. We'll click continue, and then we run the analysis again. So for the post hoc test, um, our interest right now, because we've already discovered this, so our interest at this point uh, is at the multiple comparison. So um, we can see that the comparison between meditation and aerobic exercise is statistically significant. You can see the SIG value, the significant value is significant at 0 0.00. .00 zero so but we call it 0 0.001 because if you if you actually click this so you can see that it's still uh you still 108 so that's why i always call it 0, 0. 0.001 okay now now you can see the uh, the the comparison between meditation and cbt um, it's not. But one more thing you may want to look at here is the 95% uh, confidence interval, which also supports 
uh, the significant value that we've got, the significant difference uh, result that we've got. So you can see that zero did not fall between the norm. Okay, that also um, um, proves that yes, we've got a statistically significant result here. But you can see the comparison, uh, uh, comparing meditation and CBT. Uh, yeah, although we have a lower effect here, but uh, we do not have a statistically significant result here. And then again, look at the confidence interval. Zero, to zero fell between the null. You can see the negative and then the positive here, showing evidence that zero fell between the null. But again, let us look at the second comparison here. Um, exercise comparing aerobic exercise, uh, meditation. You can see that um, that's, that's, that's a reduction effect showing evidence when you have a, a negative statistically significant effect, it shows the, the comparison between both of them, a reduced level of stress uh, when engaging in aerobic exercise compared to meditation and uh, cognitive behavioral therapy. So you can see the both comparison uh, are all statistically significant. And then CBT to meditation um, um, is not statistically significant, but again, with exercise, is also statistically significant. So, so this is how you report your results. You, you simply pull these two, uh, probably uh, you may want to copy the both of them into the Microsoft Word and then begin to interpret the results in writing, okay? But one more way you may also um, have these results in pictorial form, um, in, in, in a figure, to quickly give you an idea of what happened here, is to uh, put, go through the graph. So you, you use a graph to, to build up, and, and that will enable you to quickly look at it on a face value. You can just um, understand what actually happened. So I'm going to use bar chart. So I will, I will put the dependent variable, which is x, f, which is y, excuse me, uh, into the, uh, the y as x. And then the groups here, which are like the independent variables here, the groups here, into the x axis. And then I will, I will now, you can see it has already fixed itself, uh, meditation, exercise, CBT. Uh, if I take you back to... Uh, this one so you can see the, the three groups here so that's so already what we, we already have here so I'll click OK and so you can see that uh, that among the three groups here that exercise had a lower effect in terms of reducing stress so um, uh, let's head over to my PowerPoint and, and then look at something here so the PowerPoint says, for example, if the post hoc test revealed that any of the groups have significantly lower perceived stress levels compared to other groups, it suggests that the group may be more effective in reducing perceived stress in this sample, within this population, not in the whole world, within the population of your study, within your sample, all right? Okay, so what you need to do is, you report this and this and then again you may also want to uh, use this to also make illustration so this is how you can run one way another test and in the subsequent videos I will show you other ways you can perform um, uh, ANOVA test thank you so much for watching if you like the tutorial please share like the video and subscribe to my channel and then uh, leave your comments at the comment box below so that i'll be able to address some of your comments thank you so much